Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to give an update. Week three is finished with our homeschool for our third graders, so I wanted to let you know how things were going and what we're changing up. So this week, we hadn't changed too much. Um, we've continued with our regular curriculum, but coming up now, we are switching things up a little bit. Some of it is because I've gotten some books and some additional curriculum in, and some of it is because we're seeing where we need to fill in some gaps. So the first thing is with Spanish. We are using Rosetta Stone, and it is geared for adults um, or, or high school learners, perhaps. Um, and we've gotten through the first three lessons, and they're starting to get really challenging. It moves really quickly um, for a third grader. So. This week, what we're going to do is we're going to supplement our Spanish with some um, worksheets that I'm going to look for online. I have to do that. And uh, watch some videos of like favorite cartoons, but in Spanish, um, just to kind of get a little bit more familiarity and get a chance to practice and um, incorporate the words that we're learning into things that are a little bit more age appropriate or or more natural in our environment and then we'll go back and we'll review lessons one two and three and fill in any gaps there so that we get everything to a hundred percent before we move on to lesson four so that's probably going to be the switch up for the next couple of weeks with Spanish um, within our morning work we had an editing page and We've done really well with that. We went through the editing pages that I had found and a book that I had ordered for part of the curriculum has come in. So we are gonna start adding word roots into our morning work. Um, these start with a couple of worksheets that are on the roots of words and the meanings of those roots. And I'm gonna drop the book here and so it's got about three to four pages on a particular lesson. So we're gonna start incorporating those. So it starts with roots and then prefixes and then suffixes. And we're gonna build that in. So that'll actually be a little bit of our language arts curriculum, but we're gonna incorporate it um, earlier into our day where the editing was happening before. With regards to geography and cultural awareness, I got another book that we had ordered, um, and this is the book that is recommended in Blossom and Root for their geography and culture unit. So we're going to actually go back and start those pieces. Um, we have moved through a few of the weeks, uh, three weeks of the Blossom and Root language arts curriculum. So we're probably gonna play a little bit of catch up and try and get uh, caught up so that when we get to maybe by week five, we're on the same geography culture optional lesson that um, is planned with the language arts because they sort of integrated so, um, but now we have that. So it's uh, in the beginning creation stories from around the world. So I'm excited about that because that is a topic that I'm interested in learning more about. And the other major change that we're making, we've gotten a few weeks in um, and Honestly, we're doing really well as far as timing goes. Um, we move pretty fluently through some things. So I'm going to add in a little bit where um, my child is doing a little bit more reading out loud to us. That is something that they're resistant to. Um, though they're a good reader, they don't want to read out loud. They don't want to read um, when they're told to. But basically we're gonna go with magazines that, um, the kid already gets and they're on topics and things that they like. So we're just going to start reading little snippets of magazines. So we have Ask, which is Arts and Sciences for, for Kids. Um, we have Zoo Books and we have Highlights. And those are magazines that grandparents have sent us subscriptions to. So we're going to start you know, doing some reading out loud where they're going to read to us out of magazines. Um, math is going smoothly. Uh, that program works really well. So far, it's been primarily review, which has been really nice. And um, things are going smoothly with 
math. Language arts is going well. We've got one more week on the book that we are working on or two more weeks on the book that we're finishing and then um, we'll start a new book. I do still have another set of curriculum that has not arrived yet. And so once that gets here, we'll kind of see how or when um, we want to do a transition or whether or not we want to incorporate um, both pieces. Um, I really have to just wait till I get my hands on it to kind of see how it fits in with what we've already been doing. Um, but language arts is going well. And then science has been going really smoothly and the kid really loves science. And um, this week we're gonna be starting a dinosaur unit, which is super fun. Um, hopefully we'll fill in some of the gaps. It'll be a little bit more of a structured dinosaur unit than what I made up in the spring when we were at home and we just kind of found what we could on some dinosaurs. Um, so we're not gonna spend maybe as long on it. The dinosaur unit does come from Blossom and Root, um, but I don't think we're going to spend the full length of time. We're going to kind of hit some highlights just because we did do a couple of weeks on just dinosaurs in the spring. Uh, so we're looking forward to that and that's really it. Those are our uh, changes that we're making for the next week and so far things have been going pretty well and looking forward to continuing. So Thanks for watching. Let me know how it's going with you and let me know if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover. Thanks.